Hi traders, welcome to my daily recap. Came back from the holiday and take a look at Boeing. Boeing started with a gap up today, but what is maybe more important is what the S&P is doing. And as you can see, the S&P is also with a gap up today, which means it's going to be under a pressure to come down and close the gap, as usually happens. Now, Boeing also is under pressure because again, Boeing with a gap up, it is under pressure to come down, close the gap. I'm about to show 4,000 shares shorting now. Now, again, Boeing started with a gap up. Normally you would think, well, it starts with a gap up, it should probably continue higher. I mean, people are buying Bo Boeing, right? But really, when it's starting with a gap up, when stocks are starting with a gap up, they are under pressure to come down. Now, when it's going to move under the lows, I'm going to add another 2,000, which is just now, just add another 2,000. And again, a gap up normally means that it's going to be under a pressure to come down and close the gap. There's a lesson I made recently, a long webinar, which you should take a look at. And uh, it discusses all about that. Now, take a look at the S&P and the Nasdaq. You can see that they're both under pressure to come down. Fast forward of what happened to Boeing. It is coming down. Target price is at the point where it will close the gap. That's the point where I'll take my partial, which is right now. So I'm about to cover 5,600 shares out of my 6,000. Just covered left 400 for the continued run. Hopefully, it's going to continue coming down. It was a great trade, but you need to take a look at some more th uh, things like for example Boeing's daily one of the reasons I shorted Boeing is not only because of the gap up it's because the daily looks like a car crash at that point it looks like Boeing is very very likely to come down so that's a beautiful daily now take a look uh, a little bit later here at what happened you see the S&P did come down and close the gap it came all the way down like normally does happen when you start when the S&P starts with a gap up it will have some kind of a downside pressure you know 80% of the stocks which starts with a gap up are coming down closing the gap and since the S&P is in fact 500 different stocks then it is very likely that you will see the S&P coming down just like it did I mean the first move down the first downside pressure was enough for me and that's the area right over there where Boeing in this right at, at this timing really came down and closed the gap so as you can see my Boeing close gap trade was right over there and then Boeing is all over it's up and down like a roller coaster. I don't care. I took my partial. That's why I only keep small size and hope for a continuation, which did not come. So I moved out of my last 400 shares at a small loss, really. But again, the, the, the game was, uh, the name of this trade was a gap closed trade. And that's what Boeing did when it started coming down. I took my partial exactly at the point where it closed the gap. And as you can see, right over there, it found its buyer and it moved higher. And again, why? Because there is a lot of downside pressure which comes from the institutional traders who are getting extra commission until the gap is getting closed. You should know that. And again, a long one hour webinar is waiting for you at our YouTube channel. And you're very welcome to listen and uh, understand exactly why these kind of things happen. And take a look at my results here. I had some great uh, trades, other trades today. I mean, AFRM, for example, and a very small winner in BABA. So I'm going to finish over $11,000 and that all happened in just one hour. If you like this video, we will appreciate if you give us a thumb up. It helps our channel, helps more people like you find day trading videos. And you can click on that button here and subscribe to our channel if you like to. There's also a notification bell. Uh, if you want to get notified by my future uploads and plenty of links right here below if you want to join us we'll be very happy if you do for uh, a lot of free trials and um, things that again will help you become a successful trader so thank you very much for watching this and i'll see you tomorrow with my recap for tomorrow's trading session